guys, welcome back. Today I have a divine new collection to look at from Glam Polish. This is the Cast a Spell Sea Witch collection launching on May 2nd. You did watch a video from me on the Avengers Inspired collection launching on May 2nd, so these collections both launch on May 2nd at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it'll be really fun to kind of mix and match between both collections unless you need all 12, which is totally understandable. So there are six pieces in this collection. They are pastel Crelly hollows. So they all have linear hollow going throughout and they're filled with hollow glitter as well. So we have a hollow glitter mix, an ultra hollow glitter, and then a fine micro hollow glitter. So these are very, very sparkly, heavily glittered, beautiful pastel shades. So we get to start with the polish that's on my nails and one of my personal favorites from the collection. I just love a periwinkle and these are so soft, but so blindingly holographic. They're fantastic. Okay, so this is Clairvoyant. These polishes are all going to have the same formula and the same components all across the board, but I will tell you what is in them as we go through them. So Clairvoyant is described as a periwinkle Crelly. They're Crellies, not jellies, because they have a little bit of white base mixed with the initial pigmentation. That's how you make a pastel, but they still are more squishy than a cream polish. That's so that you can add all those glitters in there and you're not having too stiff of a formula where the pigment and the glitter is competing with each other, so it's just that really perfect subtle sit in the middle there and it's just divine so these all have linear holographic so first of all you're getting beautiful hollow just from the linear holographic and then you have an awesome mix of hollow glitters so this first one's clairvoyant I'm doing two coats of everything today lots of top coat to finish everything off I want to make this even more blindingly holographic than it already is so this first one is clairvoyant Next up we have Cursed. Cursed is a lavender Crelly. Again, we have the same components. So you've got linear hollow, if you're wondering what all the hollow is on my nail. Linear hollow, we have a silver hollow mix. We have ultra hollow glitter in there and we have a micro hollow glitter. So hollow all the things. The only thing that's not in here is a hollow flaky, but you guys, um, yeah, this is so beautiful. The inspiration is a sea witch. So this sea witch is blinged to the gods, you guys, and we've got all these adorable pastel shades. So, so beautiful. This is Cursed. I did two coats with top coat, just like everything else today. polish up in the collection is mystical it's described as a teal crelly this is giving you those beautiful sea green vibes it's so soft so just pillowy makes me want to go sit on a beach somewhere either that or watch the little mermaid i can't decide um this swatches so nicely just like the rest you've got your linear hollow and your mix of all the different hollow glitters that are going to make your nails absolutely unignorable so, so beautiful. So this is Mystical, two coats with top coat for my final photos as well. Next up we have this beautiful, soft, subtle, coral, linear, hollow Crelly. This is called Prophecy and I love this shade. It's definitely a subdued coral. It's not gonna be too in your face, but just giving you that perfect touch of soft warmth. This one is so beautiful, you guys, and they're all so sparkling with hollow and glitter. I'm showing you two easy coats. These are super duper easy to work with. This one's called Prophecy and we finished off with top coat. polish in the Sea Witch collection is Sorcery. This polish is described as a blue Crelly subtle linear hollow and of course you have your glitter mix there with the silver hollow glitters. Some of them are getting up to I would say like a medium sized glitter. There's definitely nothing here I'd consider a large glitter but the medium ones are probably the largest ones that I've seen glam polish use in a little while so if you've been waiting for a gorgeous packed glitter mix with a big variety of sizes. This collection's really gonna do it for you. So much hollow, the hollow oozes from these polishes. I did two coats of sorcery, finished off with top coat, and we just have one left to go. So the 
last polish in the collection is this beautiful soft pink. It is described as a hot pink, but it is a kind of a pastel version of a hot pink. It has a beautiful subdued linear hollow finish and all the sparkling twinkling silver hollow glitters that all the rest of the polishes have. This one is called Wicked, which this polish doesn't look very wicked to me, maybe wickedly good. Um, this polish looks playful and sweet and innocent, and I know all of you pink lovers are gonna die for this one. So um, this is Wicked, we did two easy coats. There are lots and lots of glitters in here, so I'm using a nice glitter smoothing top coat, and that finishes out the collection, you guys. If you like a textured finish, these actually are kind of similar to um, some of the more glittery Zoya texture polishes. I don't believe that they have additional texture to them besides the glitter, it's just that there is so much glitter. So I know some of you will like wearing these on their own without top coat as well for a totally different look, so that's a fun way to mix it up if you like that. I love how much hollow they packed in here. Love, love, love. Like I said, they almost couldn't get more hollow in their polish. Glam polish always consistently just fills their polishes to the brim with components. You're getting so much for your money and these are so beautiful. They have this soft kind of glisten that looks like the glisten of light across a body of water. As I'm looking down at them sitting on my table, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this beautiful soft glisten coming off. They're stunning, you guys. So another fabulous collection from Glam Polish. They launch on May 2nd. The link is in the description bar below. It's not an affiliate link. It just hops you over to the website. Thanks for being here for this video. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Are you looking forward to the Avengers polishes more? Or are you looking forward to these Crellies? I will see you back for the next video very soon. Thank you for stopping by for this one and hanging out with me for a little bit. Take care until I see you again. Bye.